Following on from our features and scenarios tutorial, this is intended to be a very basic introduction to the middle layer or the step definition layer of the framework. We have here a scenario entitled Create API Key and we're going to look at the given step and the when and the then. The given step uh, will also receive this text value passed through as an argument. If we step inside, we can actually see uh, that the sequence of actions within the given step or that make up the given step actually look very much like a manual testing script uh, if you follow them through one by one. Uh, this particular test includes a combination of front-end browser tests but also API REST requests. We start here with a simple go to URL uh, instruction and then here we look at a method that will log in a user with a particular set of details. The first part of this code refers to a page class, the login page, and then we have a login method within that class. If we step through from this layer into the page class, we can see it's comprised of a number of methods, but also a number of front end elements that we will wish to interact with within the test. If I select the method here and step through, I will see the sequence of actions that comprises this specific method. Uh, we can see there is the setting of a username, the setting of a password, and the checking of each of those. The value that we pass through, the user details, are referenced both in terms of the text that will be set and also the check that is made to ensure that text has been set correctly. And next we have a simple method that will wait for the home page to load. Here we then visit the admin page and here we raise an error with an error message of new user field not present. We raise that if a particular element that we're expecting cannot be found on the page and we allow it to try five times. Here we undertake a REST request with the test evolve API functionality. We have a helper method here to generate a random user we can create a random user using another helper method, generates a random email, and we assign it a password. We create a payload that we then use to invite a user with another REST request. Within an email, the user can then see and click through onto a password setup link. They set their new password, they log in, and then we have them log out from the front end. They log in again with specific details. We wait for the home page and then we visit the administration page. Here we are looking to assign permissions. We use that text value from the feature file, API, API keys. That is the permission that we're gonna set for that particular user. We raise an error here if that permission was not set correctly. We log them out in the front end, and then we log in again and wait for the home page. We'll come back now to our feature file, and that was the given step. We'll look now within the when step. This is the second step within the scenario. And again, we'll see a sequence of actions that comprise this step. So we visit the admin page, we raise an error. API keys page was not loaded successfully. If again, a particular aspect of the front end or an element that we've defined could not be seen or didn't include text that we were expecting. We allow it to try up to 10 times with a sleep of half a second between. And then we create a new API key. Again, this is a dedicated method within an admin page page class. We come back to our scenario and we'll now look at the then step. And our then step is the verification step or the assertion. So uh, in this case, a series of raising of errors if uh, front end aspects are not present or specific fields that we are expecting uh, are not present. So their copy button is missing or the OK button, if that's not present, will return an error. And then we log some info to the console to say successfully that the API key was found. 